something that's very hot right now are pass keys, which have just hit Entra and Pub Preview in the last couple weeks. So we're going to take you through setting up the FIDO2 version of this today, as there's a few different ways of doing it. So we're going to cover FIDO2. So inside protection, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to auth method. You're going to see here FIDO2 security key. We're going to enable that, and we'll put it on for everybody. And under configure, you'll see a few different options here. One thing to keep in mind is if you're going to be trying to use pass keys with Authenticator, attestation is not supported right now, so I'm going to leave that off. Now, one thing you might want to do is enforce restrictions on what devices you're going to allow. So from here, you can go add the GUID, the AA GUID. One option you have is you can go in through Graph and API and look at it, or if you know who your vendors are, so I'm going to use a YubiKey. I'm going to use 5CI. So I'm on their little site here. So all i got to do is just paste that in. Hit OK. Then you save. And this is going to configure the actual auth method, which actually makes it really easy. So one other thing you might want to do is actually enforce that passkey for sign-ins. So from protection and auth methods, you're going to go to authentication strengths. Now you're going to go new authentication strength. I'm going to call this passkeys. I know, really creative. And select passkeys FIDO2. And you can even go advanced options. And we can go ahead and add that AA GUID again, just for fun, if we want to. And then from here, we hit next. We hit create. So you can see here we're just registering Authenticator so that we'll be able to register the pass key. So now we're going to register our pass key. Now we're going to plug it in. Pass keys now saved. And then we're just going to call this. So there's the pass key. Next. Done. So now we have our pass key, as you can see there. So now we go in here and we're going to create our policy. This may have to reload this screen. It's fine. We're selecting our account. Selecting the pass key strength that we already created. All cloud apps. Create. So from here, we're going to pick our account. Now 
this is one of the weird things about it is you see that kind of behavior. But watch what happens if I go and I try to log in in a different way. I'm going to select security key. I'm going to touch the security key. And look, now I'm in. So it's a little confusing, kind of some of the user experience around it. But all in all, once you start to understand how it's supposed to work and what you're supposed to do, you seem to get a little bit of a better experience. Um, I would say, for my in my opinion, what I would really would like to see them do is, number one, bring in the ability that when you go to log in, it should let you register for that pass key, which it doesn't currently. But it really should, so they could do a little better, but overall it is a nice experience once you get rolling.